In this video, we're going to be talking about where to find and trade stocks based off of things like insider trading, corporate contracts, institutional holding, and even what politicians are buying or selling. Now, if you guys don't know, my name is Justin from Push and Profit. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. Now, the way we're going to find these stocks with these criteria are with something called alternative data. Now, alternative data is something that's been around for a decade. It's getting more and more popular, and it's been something that hedge funds and individuals in the professional investing space have been using for a while, right? Now, this is something that is just really referring to looking at stocks to buy or sell based off data that's not your traditional financial data. So typically, you have your fundamental analysis where individuals are looking at balance balance sheets, revenues, and growth for a company. And then you also have your technical analysis where individuals are looking at things like trends, supports, and resistances, and you just have chartists looking at the chart, right? But when it comes to alternative data, it's completely different. It's looking at data that's not you know, your traditional data, as it, the name implies. So one extreme example would be like a fund hiring or putting a satellite over a brick and mortar business like Walmart and tracking how many cars come in and out of that business. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over a website that gets a ton of alternate data and they get this data by scraping and scouring the internet and looking through tons of different websites and then putting it all on their platform. And so we're gonna go ahead and dive into that and see if you know this is something that you guys may like to use to find stocks to trade and is it really a great resource? So let's go ahead and go into it. So the website that we're gonna be talking about today is a website called called quiverquant.com. Now this website is 100% free. All you have to do is sign up with your email address and then boom, you have access to the site. And you know, you'll see there's a bunch of different modules on the home dashboard. You see, you can click through insider trading, corporate flights, institutional holdings, Wall Street bets, corporate Twitter, and then so on, right? There's a lot going on over here. And we're gonna kind of just break down this website just to show you a cool, you know, a few cool benefits that you can use um, when trying to find stocks to trade. Now, if we focus on the top portion of the website, we're gonna see something that says data by company and by default, it's gonna have Tesla, but we're gonna enter in any random stock and we'll enter GME just for the sake of the example. And then after we click that, we're gonna also hit the search button. And then it just loads up a bunch of alternative data that we could kind of just look at, right? So over here on the left, it says off exchange trading. I mentioned the short sales, off exchange volume. Now, if we look at the middle tab over here, it says insider trading. Now, there looks like there's no information over here. Again, this website scrapes information throughout the internet. So uh, maybe they just didn't pick up any uh, information for insider trading, or maybe there isn't any insider trading. Again, you know, it just could be that they just didn't scrape the information. But if we go to the right, we see Senate trading and we see recent trades by US senators. We can see the dates, which senator, and whether or not they purchased or sold the shares in the company. So that's pretty interesting. If we uh, scroll a little bit down, we see Twitter and we see followers on company's Twitter account. And uh, what's interesting is you can see throughout 2021, Jamie has just consistently been gaining uh, more followers on Twitter, uh, which is just something, it's just really just interesting data to kind of look into. We could see the dates and the followers either growing or declining. Um, and then if we scroll down, we could also see Wall Street Bets and number of mentions of GME in Wall Street Bets daily discussion, which is honestly very interesting. I know a lot of hedge funds were using this metric uh, back you know, in early January and uh, February of 2021. Uh, but it's interesting because you can see that people were talking about GME on Wall Street Bets all the way back in November. So you could have seen that there was a spike uh, going on Wall Street Bets and kind of, you know, looked into the momentum and maybe possibly could have gotten early because we all know uh, if we take a look at, you know, GME, we all know what ended up happening uh, basically in uh, February or January of 2021. We see the stock uh, basically, if we go from the low all the way to the high, did almost like 17,000%, which is insane. Um, but if we uh, were really just kind of looking at this metric over here, this data over here, uh, where there were spikes in November, let's go ahead and go back to the stock and try to go all the way till November, uh, which would be around here. We would have noticed that there was uh, you know, a lot of mentions on Wall Street bets and possibly could have taken a position to you know, catch this big move over here, right? Uh, so I think that's really interesting. And then we could see that it kind of has been declining uh, as far as mentions on Wall Street bets. Now, if we scroll down, we could also see house trading. We see, you know, uh, recent trades by U.S. representatives. Again, we could see the dates, 
the representatives, and also the type of whether or not they purchased or sold shares. We also see corporate flights, but again, you know, we don't see anything for GME. It could be possibly that they don't have any, haven't done any, or it could be that they've been registering the flights under a different entity or a different name, right? Uh, definitely something we have to really consider. And then government contracts, again, we don't see anything with GME. Um, so again, it could be that the website didn't scalp or scrape any information, or they simply just don't have any government contracts. Again, not all companies are going to have, you know, federal uh, loans and grants. Uh, so just definitely interesting to kind of look through. Uh, so you could play around with this and, you know, simply just keep going home. Uh, to the home tab and then typing in a stock or a ticker symbol and then looking through the information so it's definitely something fun and interesting to look at now going back to the home page i know earlier i showed you guys a few tabs that you could click but now i actually want to click some of them just to show you guys some of the data that is in some of these tabs so let's just uh we'll click insider trading and then it's going to load up 20 largest recent purchases and sales and uh, interesting enough one that's catching my eye is actually tesla interesting okay so we have uh uh, December 2nd, Elon Musk is making a ton of sales. Uh, so let's actually go onto the charts and let's look at uh, ticker symbol TSLA and let's look at Tesla. And wow, this is crazy. We see like a you know Tesla selling off heavily. Uh, we see you know December 2nd we did kind of decline, but it looks like December 3rd uh, is when we uh, actually really sold off. It looks like we broke below even. Uh, support level so that could just be because individuals just found out about the news of Elon doing more selling uh, so definitely really interesting uh, let's go back to the website another one that caught my eye was Walmart it looks like uh, on 1130 uh, Jim Walt Walton Alice Walton Alice Walton, Jim Walton, S. Robinson. So it looks like a lot of people, I believe the Waltons are the individuals who own Walmart. Uh, they're like the Walmart fam uh, family or dynasty. It looks like they sold a ton of Walmart. So let's go ahead and uh, you know, go back to the charts. Let's look at Walmart, ticker symbol WMT, and see, oh wow, yeah, this is crazy. So it's at 11.30. Uh, November 30th and wow ever since they started selling it looks like it's just been going down 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 uh, so that's very interesting that you know we could see what the insiders are doing and then uh, it looks like we're actually bouncing from this level uh, we're showing signs of the confirmation above the uh, exponential moving average again these are things that I kind of talk about in the push and profit program about when to buy and when to sell uh, but yeah definitely interesting to really see um, and wow actually I didn't even realize this but this might be a good area for me to buy Walmart. Uh, anyways, going on back to the uh, website, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the home page. So going back to the home page, another uh, you know button that we could click into. Uh, let's click the Wall Street Bets one. We'll kind of go a little deeper into this. Um, so you can see over here um, most mentioned tickers. We could look through the last day, last week, or last month. Uh, we'll keep it simple. We keep it in the last day, and um, we'll see uh, SPY SPY, which is the ETF for the S and P 500, has been getting mentioned a lot. I, I believe this one's always going to be at the top because people generally were refer to SPY as the overall market. So if there is, you know, a lot of euphoria or, you know, a lot of, you know, skepticism in the overall market, people are just always going to refer to SPY. So that one I'd probably ignore. Um, but all the other tickers are actual, you know, just companies. So uh, GME has been getting mentioned a lot recently in the last day. Uh, second mention uh, stock in the last day on Wall Street bets, uh, DocuSign. Uh, let's take a look into DocuSign actually. Um, let's see, D O C U, I believe, DocuSign. Let's see what's going Oh my god. I could see why people are uh, mentioning it a lot. Um, now, this isn't a stock that I'm following up right now um, because, you know, I'm not obviously looking at every single stock. Um, so I'm not sure what is a catalyst event or news that is causing this. I'm not sure if this was like an earnings. Uh, type of situation or, or what's going on but this is this is ridiculous oh my goodness no wonder people are mentioning it on um, this is this is about a 72 percent drop in just a few days um yeah so you could definitely see what people are talking about um i want to go back to gme i want to see why uh, people are talking about uh gamestop again um, and it looks like GameStop is just pretty much selling off here. GameStop is a stock that I, I've been covering on this channel uh, quite a few times. Um, you know, as you can see my drawings on a chart, I like to keep things neat sometimes, so I'll try to hide that. Um, but going back onto here, we could also see, um, 
let's click on uh, let's see one that we haven't mentioned let's click on the video this one lowest mentioned one in the last or let's actually look at the last seven days I want to see it like that Apple okay Apple A A P L uh, let's see you know why let's see what's going on with Apple A A P L um, looks like Apple uh, is actually making new highs um, still I mean we are coming down a bit but this is you know as overall markets going down it looks like Apple still going up and still making all-time highs, which is just uh, pretty incredible. Um, but going back into this, that's not the only thing you could look at. If you scroll down, uh, you could see uh, Paul uh, puts and calls mentioned ratio, right? And you could see, you know, you know, for specific stocks. And again, we're looking at the last seven days. Um, we could see, you know, what individuals are looking into. So for Apple, it looks like more people are, are you know, mentioning about calls on Wall Street bets. Um, and then, of course, you know, with SPY, it looks like it's pretty even. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that you shouldn't just make your trades 100% based on just, you know, what you see online. Because, again, this is all, you know, especially with this tab right here, this is all from Wall Street Bets. So this is just a bunch of retail investors going onto an online forum and talking about should they buy and should they sell. Again, you know, not something you should absolutely base your decisions on, but it's just interesting that you can see the ratio of what people are saying. You know, like I said, Apple looks like it's more heavy on the calls Facebook is actually uh, on the list here where I see it has the highest ratio of people looking at calls from puts uh, so let's actually let's look at Facebook ticker symbol FB uh, which is actually meta platforms now um, so it looks like Facebook has been selling off I'm not sure if they're mentioning a lot of calls because Facebook has uh, it's at this area of support now um, so let me draw that out so you guys could kind of see uh, so I don't, I'm not sure if people on Wall Street bets are mentioning it that this is a good time to buy because we're at this area over here of support. Um, me personally, I don't like to just buy at support. I like to wait for confirmation. Again, something that I mentioned in the push and profit program where I talk about, uh, you know, my uh, share my success and my failures, and I talk about you know where to buy and where to sell. But more on that later. Um, but definitely interesting if we kind of scroll down even further, we can see like kind of looks like a heat map. They call it a trend map here. And you can just see, uh, you know, the mentions, if they're going down or going up. It looks like people are mentioning uh, IBKR. I believe that's Interactive Brokers. Um, but, yeah, uh, it looks like everything is not getting mentioned as much as it did previously. Um, so definitely interesting. Um, and, again, you guys could see, you know, short activity. Uh, I mean, you guys could, you know, really just play around with this website and, you know, look at data. And, you know, obviously people are going to interpret data slightly different. It's up to you. At the end of the day, you know, there's not an absolute answer uh, for, you know, when to buy and when to sell. I like to just follow my criteria of when to buy and when to sell. But it's definitely interesting to look at this alternative data to really just kind of call you know match it in with your other analysis uh, when, it, when it comes to trading regardless if that's you know technical analysis or fundamental analysis so definitely something interesting now let's go ahead and go back to the home page now honestly I could probably spend an hour on this website just going through each different button tab and module but again I want to keep this video more on the concise side um, but we can see there's definitely a lot of options here we can see app ratings and see you know apps are having the most ratings and just see how that's correlating with the stock price um, we could see you know Senate trading house trading uh, government contracts I think this is probably an interesting one to take a look into let's click this one government contracts uh, and let's have that load up uh, we could see the biggest recipients most recent contracts we see BA I believe that's a uh, Boeing LMT is Lockheed Martin uh, let's go to recent contracts right let's say we wanted to trade off this let's see uh, we have BA uh, which I believe is Boeing uh, December 1st, 861,000. Uh, it looks like Department of Transportation, FAA charting services. Let's, let's look at ticker symbol BA. Uh, again, I believe that's Boeing and see like, what happened December 1st, right? Uh, so let's go ahead, uh, let's type in ticker symbol BA, Boeing, yep, that is Boeing. Uh, let's scroll into it. Uh, December 1st was this day, right? So it looks like we kind of sold off but then at the end of the day, we had a lot of green uh, candlesticks. So it could possibly be that the contract came after the market closed um, because that's the only logical explanation I could see of, you know, why it's going up over here. Again, it doesn't tell me what time it was announced on the website. Uh, but based off of what I'm seeing here, it could have been that, you know, because December 1st was overall a bad day for a lot of stocks in the market. Uh, but it could have been that, you know, the, the announcement of the government contract was after 4 p.m. when the market closed, which probably caused the stock to rally up. 
um, and so let's see how much did it go from like the low of that day all the way to let's just go to the high of the after hours so almost eight percent just uh, off that news from the government contracts uh, so definitely something interesting again like I mentioned a lot of um, hedge funds have been using this for a while um, and you could kind of just uh, you know scour through you know this website and see what options you like to you know just like look into um, but at the end of the day like I said you shouldn't just make your trades based off of this it's just something that you could add into your analysis now if you guys enjoyed that website and all the information I provided with the alternative data um, then I'll definitely uh, share the link for that I know I mentioned the name of the website earlier in the video but I'll just put a link in the description below this way you guys could simply just click the link and have access to the website yourself and you know basically check it out um, but also make sure to check out the other links in the description below of this video because one of the links is going to be a link to the push and profit program where essentially it's a program where you'll learn how to trade and invest in the stock market it has over five hours in the video lesson library that you could just take your time to learn with and it also has quizzes and assessments this way it helps you retain the information and you'll also have access to message me at any time along with any other traders or investors that take part in the program there also will be a coupon code in the description below as well so definitely take advantage of that coupon code and with that being said guys thanks for watching this video and before you go make sure to watch this next video right here